Meat Boy is back. And Meat Boy was watching some Subway videos on YouTube. And it got me thinking, man, I used to love ordering the Italian sandwich from Subway. And I started craving it so much, I was about to drive down to Arthur Avenue, get like three or four Italian sandwiches from the most popular spots and do a review video. I might still do that, but I was like, you know what? Can I actually find the ingredients for this sandwich and make it healthy? Lo and behold, I kind of did. And although I could say this video is practically a whole food sponsorship with how much crap I had to get from there, in the relatively near future, a year or two from now, I'm hoping to be able to produce every single one of these products on my farm, especially you know the meats. Maybe not the vegetables and stuff immediately, but ideally an even higher quality version local from New York. So let's take a look at those ingredients. Now, if you went down to Arthur Avenue, you'd probably pay 15, 20 bucks for one of those sandwiches. So if you do buy all of these ingredients yourself, even though you might need 15 or 20 things, you're gonna spend about the same amount of money, except this is much, much higher quality. Uh, starting with the meats, we have the salami, the ham, we have some prosciutto, and it's supposed to be mortadella, mortadella, but that's a much lower quality meat and I could not find that as organic. For the cheese, we just have a classic provolone. That's going to be the base of the sandwich. And what I used to actually get from Subway was just the meat and cheese with some mayo. And I might just try that today, but classically we have a bunch of other stuff. You guys have seen I've made mayonnaise in recipe videos before. I'm just not gonna do that today because this is so, so much stuff. We have a bunch of vegetables to prep, some onions to thinly slice, tomatoes to thinly slice, lettuce to shred and dress with our vinaigrette, the bread. You guys have seen me use this many times. Unfortunately, there's no real organic roll I could get. This is the only organic bread in the store that I could really find that was reasonably fresh. Hopefully, we have Frankie's Free Range Bakery, maybe a couple more years from now. And then, just gonna do a classic Italian vinaigrette with some red wine vinegar, some oil, Italian seasoning, mustard, garlic, a little bit of lemon juice. Normally olive oil is used. I, I know I'm Italian, but I, don't, I really don't like the taste of olive oil, so I'm just using uh, this coconut oil liquid. And although it's probably processed with some chemicals, it's saturated fat, it's a neutral flavor. It's one of the lesser evils. I know here we have some pepperoncinis, which are also going to go on the sandwich. This is just the peppers, some white vinegar, sea salt, Again, you can make all this stuff yourself, the pepperoncinis, the mayonnaise, the bread, the vinegar. That would be quite a bit more work, even the mustard. Uh, but today, this is gonna be something that you can basically just go to the store, buy everything, and make it for your family. Uh, so I'm going to prep all of these ingredients, and then we'll make the vinaigrette. So everything's nicely prepped. Now we just have to combine everything in a blender to make our vinaigrette. So we have a quarter clove of garlic, for the whole vinaigrette, you don't wanna to add too much, it'll really overpower it. About half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. If you don't have this, you could just use oregano. Quarter teaspoon of mustard. Most recipes call for more mustard, but it's always too much. Squeeze of lemon juice, which isn't really necessary. You could just use vinegar. And then we'll add our red wine vinegar. And regardless of how much vinegar you add, the ratio is four parts oil to one part vinegar. So I'm kinda of just eyeballing that pinch of salt, a few cracks of black pepper. Then we'll just blend this up. So now we just assemble the sandwich. I think I want mayo on both sides, so. So we'll do three slices of ham. And honestly, these cold cuts aren't really that high quality. It's just, they're organic. Probably still high in omega-6, but at least you're removing most of the pollutant concerns. Man, I haven't had salami in, oh man. One of my favorite. Salami grilled cheese, oh. I don't think I want to fold these. I don't want to put too much prosciutto because it'll definitely overpower everything else on here. And we have our provolone. A little bit of the lettuce. I showed about iceberg. I think this is green leaf lettuce, so I don't really want to put too much on. A couple slices of tomato. Got our thinly sliced onions. Take a little bit of our vinaigrette. Dress that on the onion, lettuce, tomato, and then we'll just put on our peppers. Right, to finish off, I'll just put some more mayonnaise on the other side. 
Now I think I used to get this toasted at Subway, but that's definitely not traditional. I really wish I had, you know, some Italian hero bread, but this is good enough. You guys have no idea how excited I am. This is like my best day all year because you know, when I say I haven't had an Italian sandwich in like 15 years, I'm not exaggerating. I'm surprised I didn't do this sooner. Does it live up to the hype? It's pretty good. You definitely need the tomato, the vegetables, because it would be a very dry sandwich. It's a good sandwich. You know, that being said, I was really hungry. On a scale of one to 10, I'd have to give it like a seven and a half. You know, for it to be really, really good, like eight and a half, nine, ten. The bread just isn't that great. The cold cuts aren't that high quality. If anything, the most enjoyable thing on here is the fresh vegetable and the fresh vinaigrette because it has a lot of flavor. So I, I wish this kind of lived up to the hype more, but it's still delicious. You know, it, it's much better for you than anything you're getting at a deli. And side by side, I think if you paired this up with like the top Italian deli sandwiches, it would satisfy that craving. You know, those would probably be better tasting because the bread is fresher, it's, it's higher quality, fresher cold cuts, fresher everything, but this is a, definitely a good go-to if you've been missing those deli sandwiches. And I know any of you guys in an Italian household that have gone carnivore are probably still eating deli sandwiches on the side. So this is what my sister does when I tell her to get dressed. She looks like a hobo, but that's fine. Uh, so we have second taste tester to have our Italian deli sandwich. And what I actually did for myself was I took all of the toppings off, basically just the meat, the provolone, uh, the mayonnaise, like Subway style toasted. So, you know, this isn't an Italian deli sandwich, it's basically a grilled cheese, but Ooh. it's definitely another way to do it. Yeah, and so one of the tips that you probably see a lot of on the cooking channels now is, is grilling it with mayonnaise. And I'm going to try this. Oh, you know, I'm just going to leave it over this because I don't want to. I mean, I like this one a lot better, but they're, they're both absolutely delicious. Mm. I mean, you're basically eating mayonnaise with this one. Why is it spicy? Just a little bit of the pepperoncini. Oh! Gina, you're a mess. I'm a mental mess. <laughs> you like the sandwich, Gina? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so we're going to stuff our faces, mm. but thanks for joining us today. Uh, mm. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, mm. leave a comment down below, Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification mm. bell so they don't notify you of my videos What do you think Gina? Delicious sandwich, very good. Is it one of the best sandwiches you've had? It is the spicy <laughs> yeah, So you can go a little lighter on the pepperoncini if you uh, you guys don't like the spice, but Woo! thanks for joining us